Hello there! Linux Mint is undoubtedly a user-friendly, stable and customizable Linux distribution. Many users appreciate its simple operation and attractive design. But if you want to use Linux Mint in a modern work environment with high-resolution monitors, you'll quickly encounter some limitations and this is exactly why I've decided not to use Linux Mint at the moment. Specifically, it's the difficulty with fractional scaling on 4K displays and the resulting issues with mixed display setups like a laptop with Full HD and an external 4K monitor. So let's get into it. My name is Michael from Fossil Linux Journal and here's why I don't use Linux Mint. Let me be clear, I've always liked Linux Mint. Both Linux Mint and LMDE are excellent distributions that contribute a lot to making Linux more accessible to average desktop users. This video is not intended as negative press. Rather, I want to document an issue that, in my opinion, remains unresolved. And honestly, it's the one thing that keeps me from choosing Linux Mint as my main distribution. 4K monitors are becoming common in many offices and homes. I use a 4Q BenQ monitor which provide crisp images and allow for high detail as long as the software and operating system can handle that resolution smoothly. However, in daily use, fractional scaling on Linux Mint is problematic. In practice, while Mint allows scaling between the usual 100 and 200% finer intermediate values often result in jerky, inconsistent performance. For example, if you set up the scaling to 125 or 150% to make text and interface elements a comfortable size on a 4K monitor, you'll often notice lagging and uneven rendering. Moving windows and animations appear delayed, sometimes with a half to full second lag, which significantly impacts the user experience. Without fractional scaling, text remains so small on a 4K display that reading and working become uncomfortable. I've tried various approaches to solving this issue. First, I thought I just increased the font size for readability. This works fine on a single monitor. But it quickly becomes a problem if you also use a Full HD laptop as a secondary display. When scaling is set up to be readable on a 4K monitor, text and interface elements appear much too large on the FHD laptop screen. This creates an inconsistent, impractical experience requiring users to manually adjust scaling depending on whether they are working on the external monitor or just the laptop. In day-to-day -day use, this adjustment is inconvenient and often leaves you with the choice of either an oversized display on the laptop or suboptimal scaling on the 4K monitor. Even if I use only the 4K display by keeping the laptop closed, I'll still notice a slight lag in desktop responsiveness and animations. Unfortunately, that's not a solution either. To illustrate the issue, let's consider a ThinkPad with a FHD resolution 9020 by 1080 connected to a 4K BenQ monitor with a resolution of 3840 by 2160. Initially, everything runs smoothly, but at a native 4K resolution, text and interface elements are very small. When fractional scaling is activated and set to 125%, the setup begins to stutter in daily use. Delays and performance issue quickly becomes noticeable. The Cinnamon desktop environment, the default in Linux Mint, is a fork of GNOME 3 and still uses the X11 Display Manager. Wayland, the modern replacement of X11, remains experimental in Cinnamon. From what I understand, stable Wayland support is expected with Linux Mint 23 at the earliest. This means that Linux Mint 22 based on Ubuntu 24.04 will continue to default to X11. X11 is a very complex but outdated technology which has become difficult to adapt to modern requirements. Particularly with graphic intensive functions like fractional scaling, X11 has limitations. Wayland, by contrast, was developed as a more streamlined and modern alternative offering substantial benefits especially for rendering and scaling high-resolution displays. And while Wayland is not yet perfect and still has some issues, it's clearly the path forward. 
Distributions with desktops that run stably on Wayland can offer smoother, lag-free, fractional scaling, significantly improving the user experience. For users who rely on 4K monitors and consistent scaling, a Wayland-based system can be a decisive advantage. Unfortunately, this is a compelling reason to avoid Linux Mint if you need modern 4K displays. For example, I have had no issues with GNOME-based desktops on other distributions with this 4K monitor setup. In sum, Linux Mint is currently only suitable for users who don't depend on 4K monitors and need lag-free fractional scaling. For me, this is a deciding factor. Here's a rule of thumb I've come up with. Use Linux Mint with a monitor at a lower resolution like Full HD or WQHD or opt for a GNOME or KDE based distribution with solid Wayland support to use a 4K monitor with fractional scaling. I have had good experiences with Ubuntu, Fedora and Debian in this setup. If you have a FHD laptop and connect it to a FHD monitor, you won't encounter the issues described here in this video. Everything will work as expected. But once a 4K monitor is involved, these scaling limitations come into play. Of course, you could switch to GNOME on Linux Mint if you really want to keep using it. GNOME is available in Ubuntu and Debian repositories, so technically you could keep Linux Mint or LMDE installed and just use GNOME. However, this diverges from the intended Mint experience with Cinnamon, which is why I didn't consider it as a solution. With future developments and improvements to Mint or Cinnamon, these practical limitations may improve. For now, though, if you need smooth scaling, you should carefully consider if Linux Mint fits your workspace needs. Or look into a Wayland-enabled distribution that support 4K displays and fractional scaling more smoothly. Now a question for Linux Mint or Cinnamon users among you. Have you had similar experiences? How did you tackle them? If you know a practical or better solution, please share them in the comments so everyone can benefit. That's the purpose of this video. Not to focus on what doesn't work, but to find solutions. I look forward for your responses. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. Activating the bell ensures you get notified of new videos immediately. Feel free to share this video on social media or wherever it may be useful. Together we are stronger. In the end card, I will show you two more interesting videos. Check them out in the meantime. Thank you for your kind attention, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video if you like. Peace.